I have become aware recently of a very clever lie of Satan and it's based in the New Age. Um, the concept is the value of unity. We know that Christ prayed that uh, you know that you may be one even uh, as I and my father are one and so the idea is that it's not just the church that God wants unified it's everything. Oh everything is about unity and the real problem is and here's the lie and see if you can spot it and why it exists. Since unity is the value, the big problem with what Satan tempted Adam and Eve in the garden was to actually eat of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil because good and evil itself was a duality. So now we go back to a Hindu concept that says good and evil are two sides of exactly the same coin and it doesn't matter how you find enlightenment, you can follow it on either path either through pain or through pleasure, two sides of the same kind, good and evil, really are not different. And so the real problem with eating of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil was to create a duality, is to create two sides of the same coin. And uh, God didn't want that. He wanted you to always know that good and evil were exactly the same thing. That's really deceptive, but it's very clever. And the problem is this. The good and evil are not a duality. Good and evil are not opposite sides of the same coin. They are the presence of something and the absence of that very same thing. So let's have a look at that. See, when you act, talk about, you know, adding cold to something, you can't do it. You can only take away heat until you reach absolute zero. And then there's no more cold you can add because cold is not a thing. Heat is the thing, and the absence of the thing produces what we describe as cold. The same is true of light. Uh, light is the thing. Darkness is not. You take away all light, and you have total darkness. And once you have total darkness, you cannot add dark to total darkness, because dark is not a thing. It's the absence of a thing. Love is the same kind of thing. It exists, and you can either have love or the absence of love. And it doesn't always manifest itself in hate. Sometimes it does, and we recognize that, but sometimes it just results in selfishness. It's the idea that because I have no love for anything else, I have love for only myself. And all these things are deceptions. And so good and evil are like that. Good is the presence of God. And when we take God out of our culture and out of our society and out of our worldview and out of everything that we know, and we say, oh, atheism is just fine. What we have done is we have created what we describe as evil. People say, well, why does God allow evil in the planet? Well, the reason God allows evil in the planet is pretty simple. He's simply walking away from the situation because he's been asked to. You've asked him to and you have to experience what that actually is and what that's actually like and the result is what you would call evil and you would say but but God is not doing anything he's not stepping in and therefore he doesn't exist or he must be a cold-hearted monster no in fact there's only one way you can actually learn reality and that is if he allows you to experience what you have desired and what you've created and I don't point that, I'm not pointing a finger and saying, you, you, you. I'm, I'm, I'm including myself in this because I've come to recognize that we are uh, inextricably bound and that part of the problem is that I haven't spoken up and that I haven't been the one on the front lines. And I'm not saying to power, you need to stop. We are failing. As a nation, we're failing. As a, as a church, we're failing. As a people, we're failing. We're failing God and what he created by simply excluding him from the picture. So we have these lies out there and these lies cannot be allowed to continue to invade our culture because they're doing a lot of damage in that process. I will talk to you later, possibly on the same topic, in another video.